Hey guys, Daisy Victoria here. You all know me for my fashion, but guess what? I also love math. Today, I'm gonna combine the two, yay! I was cast as a designer on a new reality TV show called America's It Girl. America's It Girl will air on WeTV this fall, so make sure you check it out. The way the show works is there are a lot of girls that are working to become America's It Girl. They work with designers. So I'm designing for three It Girls, and there's like at least a hundred that they expect to show up to this finale show that we're doing this week, and from those approximately a hundred, they're gonna choose the top 20, and then the winner will come from the top 20. So what I'm doing today is calculating my odds for one, two, and all three of my It Girls being in the top 20. This is kind of some basic statistics. It's probability with combinatorics. It's a little beyond the most basic of things, but I'll walk you guys through it. So first of all, the way probability works is, let me get my whiteboard. <laughs> we wanna know the event, um, so the number of chances for the event that we want to occur, out of the total outcomes. So to put this really simply, let's say we're flipping a coin and we want heads. So we would have one option to get heads out of two possible outcomes, heads or tails. So if we flip a coin, we would have one out of two um, to get heads, and the same for tails. But this one's a little more complicated, but it's the same basic principle. I There are a hundred total girls, we're assuming. There could be a slightly different number, but we just want something to calculate. Three of these girls are my girls. So I want to know the chances of my girls being in the top 20. In order to find out what those chances are, I need to know the total number of combinations um, that give me my girls in the top 20, and I also need the total number of combinations uh, to choose 20 girls out of the top, out of the 100. So to do both of these calculations, we're gonna use this formula. It's called N choose K. So it's N over K in parentheses. The formula is N factorial over N minus K factorial times K factorial. So I'm gonna explain really briefly how this formula works. We have N factorial, so out of 100, we have like 100. And factorial means we're multiplying everything all the way down to one. Our first girl, we have 100 choices to choose her. Our second girl, we have 99 choices, and so on, 98, 97, 96, it goes on and on and on, right? And we could choose 100 girls, but we only need 20 of them. So we're only choosing 20 numbers, and that's why we divide out n minus k, which in this case would be 100 minus 20, so we actually only have 20 numbers up here on top, right? So this gives us um, the number of combinations where order matters. But order doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter if I choose girl A first or if I choose her tenth. She's still in the top 20. So we're going to divide this by um, K factorial. K here is 20. So 20 times 19, so on, you know, so we have 20 factorial. So that's the way we get the formula. It always helps me to derive things just so I kind of know where they're coming from. So I did all of these calculations, and I'm going to go through one in detail and then just kind of give you guys the numbers for the rest. For the first calculation, our total amount, now our total amount for all calculations is 100 choose 20, right? Because we're always choosing 20 girls out of 100 total. So for our first calculation, I'm going to have 99 girls remaining, um, you know, besides the one that I'm trying to get in. So I'm getting one girl into the top 20, and there are 99 other girls that we can arrange, and we're choosing 19 spots for them. So it becomes the same formula. So you can write out all these numbers and multiply them. It takes a long time. We've got graphing calculators, yay! So I have a TI-83 Plus that tells you how old I am when I went to high school. We're going to turn on our calculator, and I'm going to clear out <laughs> my previous calculations. I like to put every function in as one big long function. It's just more efficient that way. I don't have to type as much, and I'll actually show you why I really prefer that. So we're going to use parentheses. Remember, parentheses first. <laughs> we're going to do 99. So I'm doing the top of my equation first. And we're going to go to the math button, 
And then if you go over to PRB for probability, the third number says NCR. That means N choose R or N choose K. So we're going to take that function and then we're going to do 19. So what we've put into our calculator is um, 99 choose 19. So I'm going to divide that. I'm going to do the same exact thing, but I'm going to do 100 and I'm going to go to math. NCR, so 100 choose 20. This gives me 0.2. So this is a decimal, which is also a fraction, yay! To get a percentage, we're gonna move the decimal two places or multiply by 100. So this gives me 20%. So the first calculation is pretty easy. You guys could have done this in your head, right? We're picking 20 out of 100, that's 1 fifth, or 20%, right? Excellent, this is 20%. Percent. Yay! So that's the chance of one girl getting to the top 20 regardless of whether or not the other two make it. So these other 19 girls could include the other two. So we need to do another calculation. This time we're going to do 100 choose 20 on the bottom, but we want to make sure that only one girl from mine is in the top 20. So what if the other two are definitely not options? So that means we're still choosing 19 but we only have 97 options now because the other two options are my other two girls and we're not including them in this. But when I do this calculation, I'm gonna show you guys why I put everything as one, um, one calculation with parentheses. So you go to the calculator, go second entry, voila. So now I have my entry just as it was. <laughs> Trust me guys, this function got me through a lot of engineering homework. Now we're going to scroll up to 99 and change it to 97. As you can see, it's uh, approximately 13% chance that only one of my girls will make it into top 20. So if, let's say, just one of them wanted to calculate, what are my chances? You got 20% chance, dude, if there are 100 girls. <laughs> we don't know exactly how many. Um, so then I did these calculations again. Um, so if I want two of my girls in the top 20, now instead of 99 choose 19, I have 98 choose 18. And remember, this one doesn't care if the third girl is also in the top 20. So I did it again with 97 choose 18. All right, so I did these calculations and I got 3.8% for this one and 3.1% for specifically just two of mine and not the third but 3.8 that two of them will make it, and the third one could be there, she could not, um, but 3.1 if she's not there. And then I did this calculation one more time for all three of my girls being in the top 20. We have 100 choose 20, and for just the remaining girls beyond my three, we have 97 choose 17. And we're choosing 17 of them because all three of mine are chosen, so there are 17 remaining spots to fill. This calculation gives us 0.7%. So as you can see, pretty low chance of all of them making the top 20. Because 100 is an approximate number, I did this again with 200, just to get kind of a wider range to know what to expect. Um, and when I did that, I got 10% here. This was for 200 now, not for 100. 8.1%, 1%, 0.9%, and this one I got 0.2%. So you can see the percents go down quite a lot. Um, when there's 200 girls, that makes sense because there's twice as, ma as many girls to choose from. These are the chances for my girls to make it, but I know that my chances are higher than this because my girls are the best. <laughs> I know that you guys are gonna make it. Katerina, Emily, and Caitlin, yeah! So this is what I do, guys. <laughs> I calculate stuff <laughs> um, all the time. I finish what I need to do early because I don't like to do things last minute and then I, I just calculate because why not? <laughs> be sure that you guys check out America's It Girl. It will be on WeTV this fall starting in September. So check us out and see how my odds played out.